I'm in the Manchester Platz in a suburb of Munich. It's the 66th anniversary of the Munich air disaster. And between 500 and 700 people, according to local police estimates, have just gathered here to observe a two minute silence. And then they've watched laying of the reefs and a lot of people have traveled there from Manchester, from England, from Malta. I met a father and son who've come from Wilmington in North Carolina, and it means different things to different people, but this is a, a growing gathering. And when there's a major anniversary, such as 50, 60, even 65, the numbers are higher. But this wasn't happening 15 to 20 years ago. And I wanted to find out why and speak to some different people, ask them why they came to Munich and why it was important to them. And with Ifti Peter Harmed, what are you doing here? What's your role here, Pete? Yep. Hi, Andy. Um, so my role here today is um, I'm the chair of the Manchester Munich Memorial Foundation. And on behalf of uh, the Triple MF, as, as, as we call it, I'll be taking the service today, uh, the Munich service. Um, we'll, we'll have uh, the lead up to, to the actual two minute silence. Um, we've got a few, we, we've got a young 15 year old who's gonna stand up and, and read out a poem. We've got the fans reps who will read out the names of the 23 victims. Um, and then we'll have the two minute silence. And then after that, I think uh, we've had about 10 different groups and organizations, including United, so Man United got the association of former Manchester United players, the Malta Reds, the Manchester United Foundation, and lots of supporters group who have all asked if they can respect and honour the, the Busby Babes by laying a wreath. Uh, it's as a result of the love that people have got for the Busby Babes. Why do you think more and more people are coming to Munich on the anniversary? Because this was unheard of it, it, it was 20 years ago. I, well, I was, I, I've been coming an awful long time and one of our members, Crookie, has been 25 years plus, you know, and we've been coming over a dozen years. And there weren't, you're quite right, there weren't that many, but I think more and more people are beginning to, to find out about the Busby Babes. I'll tell you what has helped as well, the Jimmy uh, Murphy statue that's just been unveiled, because now you'll get kids who walk past there with a mum and dad and say, you know, Dad, Mum, who's that up there? And they'll say, you know, son, daughter, that's Jimmy Murphy. And then they can tell them all about what Jimmy Murphy was all about. My name is Dr. Mark Salzman. I'm the chairman of the Red Dogs Munich. Um, we are taking care here of uh, the Manchester Plates. Um, we, we built up uh, the, the showcase here to, to keep up the memories and memorials which were laid down by Manchester fans to keep uh, the Busby Babes in <coughs> memory. For us it's important to, to keep contact with our friends from Manchester to uh, write a little uh, chapter in the history of uh, football. And you're all doctors? We are all doctors, or not all doctors, but the founding um, members are mainly doctors or have a medical um, history and uh, so that's why we, we chose the name quite close to our profession but we are open for all professions not only doctors i'm in the house overlooking the manchester Platz. it's michael and sabrina who, who live here how long have you lived here and were you aware of the significance of your home when you moved here yeah we live here since 2005. Yeah. Yeah. actually um it started 2008 um, with the 50 years um, and uh, yeah it was a huge um, event that's when lots of people started coming yes. and now every year on the anniversary and yes. and on days when it's not the anniversary people Each are still day. coming Each every day every day, every day. Two, two three five at the weekend ten people. More. From a, from we, where we see each from, day fans from Manchester from, United here from all over the world. I mean, from America, um, from Italy, I Australia, mean, are, Australia. But they are all fans of Manchester United, and they come here. And even um, yeah, grown up men, they they are crying when they come here, and it. Um, um, yeah, our heart is uh, touched when we see how deep is the love of the fans. Yeah, for the. And this Team. each day. Yeah. So it's not a hindrance that this is here next no. to your house. No. We like no. it. We, yeah. Yeah. It's um, for us. It's uh, it's very nice to see. Um, yeah, the connection. 
from the fans to, to the team and for such a long time and it doesn't stop on the uh, I mean since it's called Manchester United place I mean even more fans are coming every day because it's easier to find and um, yeah and the little vitrine um, helps also to, um, to come here thank you so much for being so welcoming welcome Eight men will never play again Who met destruction there The flowers of English football The flowers of Manchester Joseph Tedesco from the Malta Supporters Club of Manchester United You've just celebrated your 65th birthday Tell us a little bit about your Supporters Club Our Supporters Club was founded one year after the Munich disaster and it was actually inspired by that fatal day, that fatal moment. The club now has been going on for 65 years. We just um, commemorated our anniversary a couple of days ago. It was this 4th of February when the first committee meeting was held. Um, and uh, obviously 65 years of great experiences, got to know so many people, so many Manchester United representatives have made their way to the club over the years. It's been an absolute pleasure to welcome so many people and we have increased our community and uh, have now enlar enlarged our 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 family the most more the family all over the world so we're very proud to say that we are the oldest standing Manchester United supporters in the world. which is the most uh, popular football team on the island of Malta foreign team out not Maltese team foreign team I, I would say the two most popular teams are one English and one Italian Manchester United Juventus. And Juventus and other English teams Liverpool but United the are out there most, in front the second most popular from English teams definitely Liverpool and how many members do you have finally 1000 members pay, paying every season 200 of which are life members so we get 800 paying every season which considering the size of the island is quite a good number because the population of Malta? The population at the moment is just over 420,000. Wow, so that's a really um, good percentage. And anyone visiting Malta can watch the game at the Supporters Club. If anyone is in Malta and you are a Man United fan, which I'm sure you're listening to this, um, just send us an email, type Manchester United Malta on Google, it will get you to our website. You will see the virtual tour, which we, you already get an idea of what you're going to expect there and just send an email let us know and we will be there welcoming you for a match day and if there is no matches we would still be able to welcome you to the club